The next grass we're going to take a look at is perennial ryegrass, Lolium perenn. This is a bunch type grass that's used often uh, in mixed stands with Kentucky bluegrass. It's got a fine dark green uh, canopy, fine texture, dark green canopy. It blends very well with Kentucky bluegrass. Um, it has a folded vernation and a pointed leaf tip. Uh, Kentucky bluegrass, for comparison purposes, has a folded vernation and a boat shaped leaf tip, and we'll take a look at look at that in a separate video. Uh, but to look at this, it is a, again a uh, bunch type grass. So if you pull it out and you take a look at the uh, the roots, you know, pull up a plug, you will not find any rhizomes. It's always important to get in there and, and look for any rhizomes that would be there because that's the only way you're going to tell whether or not. Uh, the the growth habit is bunch type or, or something else so um, let's go ahead and pull out uh, part of this grass and take a little bit closer look at it so I've, uh, I've pulled out a, uh, a stem of the perennial ryegrass and if you look at this here you can actually see um, this particular stem has a, a, a tiller coming out of the side of it right there we'll look at that a little bit more closely here with the, the macro lens so this particular, um, let's get this to focus. This particular plant uh, that I just pulled out, it is a bunch type, so this is going to be the you know pull it out. It's it's dead at that point. No rhizomes at the base of it, just the fibrous roots, and a tiller growing out next to the side of it, out of the side of the mother plant. So when we get in and look closely at this, we're going to be looking at the surface of the leaf and um, both the surf top and bottom surface of the leaf is going to, are going to be important. The top surface of the leaf is going to be fairly matte colored. It reflects just a little bit of light, nothing too dramatic there. The back side of the leaf for comparison purposes though is very glossy and you should be able to see uh, that right there, the gloss of the, uh, the tissue compared to the top side of the leaf which is uh, fairly matte, uh, has a fairly matte finish to it. It is a folded vernation, we can see that um, right here we should be able to find this, get this leaf and cut it off right here. So right there we can see that that leaf um, that we just cut off has a folded vernation right there, folded in half. Okay. Now, the next thing that's going to be, um, I guess, important on and look at perennial ryegrass is the leaf tip because we're going to potentially be comparing this with Kentucky bluegrass, and the leaf tip of perennial ryegrass is just pointed. And when we look at uh, Kentucky bluegrass, it'll be a, a boat shaped leaf tip, which we'll compare them in just a little bit. So bunch type growth habit, folded vernation. Uh, you will often see some of this sort of purple coloration at the base of the leaf or base of the plant. That's not something that's always diagnostic in nature, but it is something that can help you determine that it potentially is a perennial ryegrass.